Hello and welcome back to the another video of Microsoft Graph API. In last few videos, we have seen how can we automate email sending, email receiving, saving attachment and different email operations using Microsoft Graph API. In this video, we are going to see how can we use Azure Graph API to send Microsoft Team invites. So this example we will elaborate using Python code, but you can use any language of your choice. Before we perform any task using Graph API, we have to complete few of these steps. And these are those steps on your screen. We have to register an application in Azure portal. We have to assign required permissions. And we have to review Graph API document to get different kind of links. I have covered all of this in the first video of this series. How can we send email using Graph API? If you have not seen that video, you will find the link in description. You can have a look once again. Alright, so before I go ahead, it is a request that if you like the content of this video, please hit the like button and, and subscribe to the channel for more videos on Python and cloud topics. Let's start our video now. So to assign the required permission, what we have to do is we have to go to our Azure account. I will just do sign in. App registration app registration and then here i have all my application so you have to go to all applications so these are the all application that applications that i have created so far and this is the one that we are using api per authentication certification that we have already created and covered into first video of this series you will find the link in description but now we just have to go and assign the API permissions. So which all permissions are required to send email notification, two permissions are required. If you can see from here, calendar read, calendar read delegated permission, application permission, and calendar read basic, calendar read all. So these all calendar related applications are required that you have to assign. And along with this, we will require all of this online meeting permissions also. So how will you assign this permission? You can go to top and you will go to add permissions. API permissions, Microsoft Graph. In delegated permissions, you can go and search. Here you will find the calendar. And if you will scroll down, you will get this directory and other permission we had assigned for some other purpose in other videos. And here mail, email permissions. Here are the online meeting permissions, online meeting artifacts. So you can select all of these checkboxes. If you want to enable transcript, all those permissions you have to enable. Right now, I am not using that. Okay, I'll just close it. You can take a screenshot of uh, these two things if you want. That this calendar permissions and online permissions. All right. Now, next step, we will go to our code editor. So this is the code of the previous video. We have already completed four videos on email automation using Graph API. Now in this, create meeting. So as I explained in the beginning that we that first of all, we require access token to do any operation using Graph API. And to get the access token, we need three details. Right now you can see client ID, client secret, parent ID. How to set up and how to get these details are ex is explained in the first video of this series. You can get the link in description. You can check in uh, chat GPT code to get Graph API access token. Or you can check Microsoft documentation also. I will paste the link of Microsoft documentation in description. So this is the function that will give us the access token using tenant id i will not explain the code because because it is available on multiple platforms and then after we need a 
endpoint URL to create the event. So this is the endpoint URL that you can. This is the endpoint URL. This is the common URL, and this is the this and this is the user specific URL. You can find the format of this URL on Microsoft Graph API events page. Okay, so once we have this URL, now next is that we have to create a event and we have to provide required payloads. So I will just create a function. First thing that we need is headers, and then we have to create the event, and we have to provide all the payloads that are required to create this event. So you can get the payload details to create the event from ChatGPT, or you can go to Microsoft Graph API event creation documentation. Let's have a look on that now. So this is the link, I and I will paste this link in a description for quick reference. So if you come here. This is the format of the URL that we have just used. Okay, and these are the payloads that you require to create one invite. One is subject contained all of this. So I will just copy this from here and I will change the email IDs. And this is the transaction ID if you want to assign some transaction ID to track this event further. And you can get more detail about each payload here also. Okay. So go through this uh, page, you will get more and more details. I will. I just I have modified and I will paste the code here, so you can have a look here as well. So in the event, I have just given here. The subject of my meeting will be this, and this is the time. If you want to change the date, you have to change the date here. All right, and then you can provide the time zone also. Start and end both time you have to provide, and then you have to provide attendance. So let's say if you have multiple attendees, then you have to provide all attendees within this section. Now I will just. This is the another. Uh, this is the another function. So access token will be returned by this function and used here. All right. So let's go down and call this function now. Just minimize these functions. Create invite endpoint URL, and I will just. Run the code. Meeting invite created successfully. So if you see this message, if response dot status code is two zero one, then it is successfully created. For any other response code, that is not a success. Okay. Now I have given uh, my email ID here, and I have given one more email ID. Let's check if email invite is received to these users or not. So I'll just go to Gmail. And you can see we have received the meeting invite. I will open it. And you can see the meeting invite here. All right. But you see the link is not available in this meeting invite. Now I will go to my and I will go to my inbox. And I have all, and here also we can see the meeting invite is received. I'll just open this. And you see here also we don't have a link right now. So it is without link. Now, how to add link into these meeting invites? So to add the link in this uh, event, what we have to do is we have to come down and in the end of this event where attendees are ending, to satisfy the JSON format, we have to give a comma here, and then we have these are the three things that, or maybe 
the first one is not mandatory what you can do is if you want if you want to give the permission to user to propose a new time you can set this as true and if you want to send a online meeting link that is online meeting you have to set true and you have to provide a meeting provider also here we are using teams for business you can use any other providers as well all of these details where you can find you can find these details on microsoft graph api page for events so here if you see all of these details are available on this page all right so i will just run this code final time teams meeting with link i will run the code And then let's go and check. So you have with link, okay? So I will open it, and you have the link here. So this is how you can create team teams meeting invite using Microsoft Graph API with Python, and these APIs you can use with any language. Final step. Let's check Gmail also. So you can see the subject, same subject, and you can see the meeting invite has link now. All right. So here we are back. You can have a look on the code if you want. I hope you like the content of this video. For more videos on Azure, Python, and AWS, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button if content was useful for you. And you can suggest more topics on which we can create more videos. See you in the next video.